This video is a clinic in exactly what you're supposed to do when you get in prison because you're going to watch Cloud kill millions upon millions upon millions of enemy troops, even though he's the one that got imprisoned. He's the one stuck deep in enemy territory. So stick around in this video for the reports, the details you need to know, like how many speed ups are used, how many resources are used to be the one punishing the enemy, even though they imprison you. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiskel Gaming, and today's video is sponsored by the makers of Rise of Kingdoms. And we're going to do several things. First of all, we're going to review the live stream footage where you see Cloud get imprisoned and deliver absolute punishment to the people that are swarming and rallying his city. From there, I want to go over these reports, which are just absolutely insane. So you can see for yourself, although they are looting some of his resources, he's killing their troops. And even when he's trading negative, he's still not having his own troops die. And he does this over and over and over, accumulating an insane amount of KP. And we'll even go over the information he shared with us around the speedups used each round and the resources used each round. But first, let's watch the footage so you can appreciate for yourself how insane this is. Uh-oh. Oh. Buddy. You're in trouble. Uh-oh. Oh, they're going for the swarm. Uh-oh. Ooh, that is bad. That That is bad news. Uh-oh. Yo, if you're having a good time in the stream, do me a huge favor, throw a like on here, consider subscribing. 1,000. 254 people in stream. It's meant to be. Throw a like on the stream, consider subscribing. Let's freaking go. Oh, God. Hope he healed his hospital in that little brief moment. Hope. Yes, he did. Let's go. Somebody watches a Chiss Cool Gaming Guide. Let's go. He watches Chiskel Gaming. He's getting the... No, he's not dead. He just healed. Chad, he just healed. That's somebody who watches the Chiskel Gaming video right there. He's... he's Now he's clapping cheeks. Everybody's like, oh, he's dead. GG. No, 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 no. He healed. He healed. Remember, Cortex said that if you know what you're doing, you are unswarmable as a city. You're not going to get dead troops. If you know what you're doing, you're okay. Did Does he get a heal off? Does he heal? 68 mil. He healed! Oh my god! Dude, he's getting the W over here. Oh! Woo! Chat, this is why you watch Chisco Gaming videos, right? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It might save your life one day, you know what I mean? It, it might save your life one day. Look at that. What's he at? 68. 68, 5. Did he get the heal? 71, 5. He did it again. Oh my god. Got him. This, see, this is why you subscribe to the channel. Yeah, his hand is constantly on the heal button. So as a reminder, the way that you do this is you need to have like a billion of each resource open, maybe more. All you have time for is to push heal. The second you leave combat, you have to push heal. You have to be very fast. 68 mil. You don't even have to gem it. Look at that. He's at 71.5. Look at that, baby. I'm so proud. I assume he watches my videos. But you know, he could have learned that some other way. He's just clapping cheeks over there, man. These guys have lost so much power swarming that Martell. Sixty-eight six. Are they gonna give up? Dude, 
do, they're going to give up. That is a governor who stared death in the face and said, not today. Not today. What all that? What is this guy doing? Snoop Dogg, see you later, 420. Oh my God, Snoop Dogg just lost like 3 million power. Dude, this, this is what we say to death. God dang. Not today. 420 left on the imprison. You can't, yeah, hard L. <laughs> Embarrassing, bro. Our boy is still standing. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh man. I mean, if you're going to random port, you got to know what you're doing. Yeah, I'm sure he got a lot of kills. If someone scrubs back on the live stream, you can see how many kill points he got. Look at that. Woohoo! Well, I mean, the rally can't hurt him. This is why I've been saying that, like, I don't know, 75 million power, 80 million power. It's kind of a sweet spot where, like, you might have troops die, but it's hard to kill your troops. It's hard for somebody to really kill them with a, with a rally or a swarm, if you know what you're doing. 200 mil KP? 200 million KP? That's a... Chat, that's a lot of KP. That is a, a lot of KP. Are you serious? I don't know why these guys are swarming the with the rally. That is just stupid. Just let the rally do the work, guys. Like, what are you doing? 66 million power? Did he get it off? Did he get the heal? Did he get the heal that time? Uh-oh. He healed! Woo! Cloud is just shredding. Oh, man. It was 50 million KP. That makes more sense. 50 million makes a lot more sense, chat. 200 million is like, oh my god. All right. That makes more sense. Did he heal? I mean, he's the thing about this is that you have to get it right every single time. One one time you F it up and you drop three to five million power, maybe more, right? Dude, he's, he is just clapping these cheeks over here. His girlfriend must be happy. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Down to 68. Is he going to bump back up? Back up. 71.5. Y'all, this is a freaking clinic in execution right here. Damn. Yeah, he's, he's got enough hospital cap that he can probably take a double swarm without taking many devs, that's true. Bro is a bot? Probably not. Towers cannot hit cities. <laughs> okay, here we go. Make a short video on this? I may make a full video on this, I'll be honest. This could be a full video. He's he's zeroing the whole kingdom. I mean, you're not supposed to swarm with triple line over here. Just saying. Oh, he's up to 1.9 billion kill points. Got him. 20 seconds left on the imprison.
Well, there it is. He's free. He's like, all right, I've had enough. See you later, everybody. Thanks for the kills. Okay, so now that you've seen that footage, I just want to remind you that the way you handle this situation is as follows. First and foremost, you set a rally with the type of troops that you really don't want to have in your city, like lower tier troops or especially your siege units. You pop a 50% expansion, you rally a barb fort, set that barb fort rally to be a 30 minute rally or an eight hour rally to get those troops out of your city. Of course, you're going to prepare your city wall and set your talent builds and do all of those sorts of things that I've talked in many other videos. But the one crucial thing that not everybody understands that you saw in this video, Cloud did understand, is that when his city was getting swarmed, he had his hospital already open. Okay? And when you leave combat, the heal button will be available. You just push heal. That is my understanding of exactly how you do this the way that he did. Leave your hospital open. When you leave combat, the heal button appears. You push heal. You don't have to wait for helps. You don't have to gem it. But you do have to then speed it up or you're going to get in trouble. Uh, because, you know, your hospital could then overflow and your troops are subsequently dying. And in this KVK that we're in, you've got room for 720,000 troops if you've got max hospitals. And also 50k for tier 1 siege that is tier one siege only so this is a lot of troops that you can have here and it's going to take a huge amount of resources i mean i said this in the portion earlier that you need to have billions of resources open at least a billion of each because not only are you using tons of resources to heal your troops but also your enemies will get burns on you as you saw in the video and they're going to be taking resources every time that you get burned that's 12 marches swarming your city at the maximum number of resources they can take if it's 50% expansions. I mean, uh, technically you can't take uh, the maximum amount of resources if your march is a little bit low, but assuming that they could, I don't know, it's like 8 million, 10, 12 million resources at most. Probably 8 million is, is the number per march hitting your city. So you're going to be losing a lot of resources as you go, and you just have to accept that that will be the case. But that said, if we get a look in here at each of these reports and the information he shared, I think it's really insightful um, because we got full info here. So we've got the reports from Cloud and a big shout out to Cloud for everything that you know he was sharing with me in the live stream, by the way. And I say he or she, right? Um, but 1.1 billion food was their starting point. 1.2 billion wood, 1 billion stone, and 1.4 billion gold. They finished this with 500 million food uh, and stone and 600 million wood, and 1 billion gold. So they went through about 2 billion resources to handle this situation. They did get a lot of kills, though, like a lot of kills. And I want to go over that in just a second. First, though, uh, this is a really important insight. I said, wow, amazing. Do you remember how many speed-ups it was, approximately? Um, and their answer was that it was around 300 one-hour speed-ups per hospital heal. That is 12 and a half days of speed ups per hospital heal that they did. Okay. So that gives you perspective around what was happening. But let's get a look at this colossal city defense here. Now they used Charles Martel. Their secondary was Esong. This is a very obtainable combo, everybody. This is very obtainable. The Esong is only okay here. I get that he's doing AoE damage, but. It's not enough. You have way more than five targets hitting your city, and the skill damage to five targets simply isn't enough. And if we look at the troop composition in this city, let's get a peek here. So one thing they absolutely could have done to make this trade better is to have less of these siege. These T2 archers are a tragedy, okay? All these T2 troops are kind of a tragedy here. So if you know you're on the verge of kind of porting into an enemy zone, you really don't want to have low tiers of troops. You really do not want to have these. So um, this is something they were able to defend successfully. With these is kind of impressive. They even have uh, 20,000 uh, T1 cavalry. I don't know if they set a rally, folks. I should have asked if they set a rally to get 300,000, uh, 330,000 at least of these troops out of their city. If they were max tech, right? We're talking about 430,000 troops 
out of the city, Max Tech VIP. You really don't want to have these because they all go to your hospital before your T4s and before your T5s. In this instance, I don't think his hospital ever overflowed in the entire thing because he's low enough power that uh, they could get away with that. But if you aren't, you really want to get rid of your low tiers of troops. You really want to get rid of your siege, especially because siege are very vulnerable. I've covered this when my city gets rallied. I'll remind you of that at the end of the video if you want to see what happens when you have lots and lots of troops and you get rallied and you just to take the full thing. Anyways, if we look at their troop composition, they've got almost 500,000 archers, their T5, cavalry. Um, their infantry are actually super low here, which is a bummer because you've got Charles Martel on the wall boosting infantry stats, and they're much lower on infantry than they are other troops. So there's an opportunity there. I know, you know, 254 is kind of anti-infantry and, you know, very pro-cavalry, but yeah, time to train some infantry, my guy. Anyways, okay. Um, and if we look at the troop buffs, this is kind of important. They chose uh, the Alexander the Great support skill. So we are in a heroic anthem KVK with support skills. So this is the Alexander the Great skill that's giving him 40% increased attack. And when he's shielded, it switches to be 30% defense instead. Benefits all troop types. Not bad. This support skill, however, I feel like is not a great choice. Archer units led by this commander gain 10% increased attack and 10% defense. I mean, stats are fine, but if I just show you the support skills that we have in this KVK, um, what would I maybe have chosen instead? There are a couple options. Uh, you can't choose this, this Esong skill because Esong was on his wall. If you had Takeda expertise, which I don't know that they do, I would assume that they don't, in fact. Troops led by this commander take 5% less skill damage, have a 10% chance when attacked to reduce all incoming normal attack and counterattack damage taken. That would be a pretty cool one. Um, Ramsey's skill, this is one when you're directly attacking an enemy. I, I mean, I can kind of see why they chose Soroli Sharpshooter. And I can also see kind of why they didn't choose ever-changing tactics. 20% increased skill damage. I mean, with a Charles Martel, I don't know. Once you see, though, that he's like kind of wrecking the enemies and they are getting below 50%, I feel like Oblique Tactics might honestly just be the play. I mean, the enemy does get low. Maybe, maybe that's the play. Even Boudicca is kind of an interesting one. Troops led by this commander have a chance to increase their damage on their next turn. So that would increase his counterattack damage. But I suppose I see why he, they kind of chose Soroli Sharpshooter. There's actually not that many better skills they could have chosen, really. I, I thought initially, like, oh, there's got to be something way better, but... I mean, not, I wouldn't say way better. Um, so let's go back here and let's get a look at these reports. We got a few of them, uh, quite a few of them to go look at. Look at the kills here. 55,000 dead, 23,000 dead, 15,000, 47,000, 20,000, 37,000, 42,000, 30,500, 15,000, 27,000, 16,500, 2,000, 7,500, and 1,000, okay? This report, I mean, no one report, I guess, is too crazy, but if we look at more of these, there's just so much of it, and he's not getting any debts. So if we look at this next report, did he change up the skills on his wall? I'm going to assume no. Yeah, he's using the same skills here, okay. Um, so here he kills 4,700, 74,000, 28,600, 30,500, 32,300, 77,000, 36,900, 3,400, 69,000, 48,000, 92,000, 32,000, uh, 2,000, 34,000, 6,000, 6,000, 7,000, 4,000, 3, 2. It just adds up and it happens over and over. Here's the next report. What do we got? 33,000, 60,000, uh, 39,000, 70, 24, 27, 19, 27, 7, 5, 18, 13, 8, 12, 6, 1, 
and we're looking for dead troops for a cloud, but I don't think a single time does this hospital overflow here. We'll continue on. This will be the fourth report. One, two, three, fourth report we need to look at. He does get a reinforcement here, which is kind of, oh no, that's healing, JK. So for those of you wondering how healing is represented here, when the troops heal, they are immediately brought back into the fight. This is something I learned literally about four years ago when my city was getting rallied and, and reinforced and I healed some troops. When you heal, they are immediately brought back into the fight. You can see the graph dips or rally, rather shoots up um, to show the increase in troops when that hospital gets healed. So 27,000, 21, 59, 52, 49, 25, 23, uh, 47, 20, 15, 45, 17, 28, 186, that's Siege. Somebody's getting greedy trying to loot or just killing their Siege. 1, 3, 2, and the city is basically dead at that point. We can go to the fifth report here. By the way, if you've, if you've gotten value from this video so far, do me a huge favor, throw a like on here and consider subscribing to the channel. Supports the channel, costs you nothing to smash that like button, appreciate your support. Here's the fifth report on the city. 6K, 102, 80, 37, 19, 25, 40, 22, 14. You can see this trade is negative in terms of the Sevs versus killed troops, but it doesn't matter. It's killed troops versus hospital heals, right? 25k, 15k, 16k, 14k, 7k, 7k, 3k, 11k, uh, and the city is worn down. Now we can look at the sixth report as we cruise on through. We've got, man, so many of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, 6k, 18, 4k. This is just somebody who incorrectly swarm the city for just a little bit. We'll look at the next report here. Cloud. And so many of these. This is another person swarming the city. This was Snoop Dogg. GG for Snoop Dogg. 207k, 46k, 21k, 11.7k. All right. Up next, we I do know that he got rallied a couple times. Let's see. One, two, three. This one, he didn't need to heal. He'd already healed. This is one with a rally. You can see the rally really did work here. 591,000 sevs. This is why I said that when they were swarming with the rally, I was like, what are you guys doing? They just need to let the rally do its job. 73k dead for the rally. I mean, this player is not equipped to deal with a proper rally. Um, but doesn't matter because they were swarming. 16k. 13k, we got 7k, 7k, 11k, 30k, 4k, 8k, 6k, 24k, 2k, 6k, 1k, oh, okay, continuing on, let's look at the next report, what do we got, 1, 2, 3, I think we're at the fourth one now, so it's third from bottom, now we had to heal his hospital, this was after the rally. This uh, Minamoto double C, 109K dead, 29K, 26K, 15K, 28K, 35K, uh, 14K, 82, 31, 7, 7, 8, 11, 8, and a bunch of small stuff, a bunch of small stuff. I think the city is basically popped at this point. All right. From here, two more reports to go. Let's get a look at these. Bottom up, number two. Here we are. 50K, 19K, 2K, 36K, 20K, 34K, 11K, 10K, 14K, 41K. 15, 7, 9, 12, 28, 4, 5, and the city pops. Up last, the final report. 
I don't know if this was every report, but it certainly does seem like it might be. Here we've got uh, about 18K, 84K, 75K, 47K, 94K, 31, uh, 12, 132. Ethel double C, is this Siege? Nope. Wow, Byzantium. You don't see that every day. Oh no, that's Spain. You really don't see that every day. The Conquistador, okay. Wow, 80K, 5K, 28, 36, 39, 24, 11, 11, 8, 17, 7, 2 and a half, 3.9, and at this point, the city's popped. So, you know, what could this city do to have a better defense? Well, let's talk about what you could do. Obviously, if you had some better commanders on your wall, you could do a bit better. I don't think it's worth investing in garrison commanders, however. If you're um, not actually a max tech player who needs them for KVK. So, for example, in this instance, given that their hospital really wasn't overflowing... Like, yeah, Xeno would do way better, but, you know, yeah, also, I don't think they should be maxing Xeno. So, I think their commander choices were probably fine. And in terms of talent choices, I really should have asked them for their build and their equipment um, to see if they would send me those pictures. But if you were defending your city against a swarm like that, the thing you really want is a build like this. And this is really weird, and it's kind of off the deep end, but hear me out for a second. This is an unusual build, um, but the thing that you actually want is Divine Favor, giving you a shield all the time. When you have that many things hitting your city, you're going to shield like crazy. This is one way to run the build. Um, another way you could run this City Swarm build, by the way, will be maybe more a more classic. I think people will be like, are you serious, Divine Favor? I actually think it's really good, um, but another way to run this will be to go over here. You go over here. Okay, you grab loose formation, absolutely need that, absolutely need no weakness. Um, you absolutely want to get balance, this is really crucial. And you want to skip out on these rage-based abilities, because when you're swarmed 12x, you're actually already at maximum rage. You're rage capping, if you can believe it. Um, but you'd go over here, you'd get these guys. And um, from here, you've got still 16 points to work with. Yeah, sure, I'd take this. If you thought they weren't going to 12x swarm you the entire time and you wanted maybe a little bit of extra rage, you could go over here, nowhere to turn, and just give yourself like a little bit of extra rage, right? I think that would be super reasonable. Um, and, you know, look, the thing is that you can get a maximum of 220 rage per turn. If you put more rage talents on here, I don't think they're doing anything, like anything for you at all. I think you're better off just kind of grabbing some of these talent points that give you defense and health. They benefit all your troop types. That's better than going in the infantry tree, especially because we saw they don't have much infantry. So, you know, you could get attack over here, health. This would be fine. Um, really, defense and health are kind of where it's at in terms of the best points. But we got a little bit of health over there, a little bit of defense over here. This build looks a little weird, but I think is totally fine. If you wanted, you could instead maybe switch up some of these points so instead of getting nowhere to turn and all those stat points you could make your way instead to testudo formation that actually might be a slightly better way to go now that i look at it you get three points over here uh well, you do get some march speed which is kind of a bummer but testudo formation is okay the thing that's a little bit of a bummer about this one is that it only triggers when you normal attack an enemy not when a Enemy normal attacks you. All in all, this was a crazy city defense. Extremely well executed. Nicely done, Cloud. It's a clinic in exactly what you're supposed to do if you get in prison. And if you found this video helpful, do me a huge favor, throw a like on here. Consider subscribing to the channel. I have several other videos I think will be super valuable to you right now. One is going to be a playlist that tells you everything you need to know about city defense, including just build variants and literally over a dozen videos, I think, uh, dedicated to helping you defend your city. If I can make that a card in the end screen, it'll be a card in the end screen. Otherwise, it'll be a card in the top. And also in the end screen will be a video where I defend my city. I lose 14 million power, and I talk about the things that we can learn about city defense 
from that experience.